So to really understand what uh, Redshift is, we need to understand what a data warehouse is. To understand what a data warehouse is, it's good to compare it against a database. And to understand um, this, we need to set some foundational knowledge and understand what a database transaction is. So let's define a database transaction. A transaction symbolizes a unit of work performed within a database management system. So an example of a transaction are reads and writes. It's as simple as that. And uh, for database and data warehouse, they're going to treat transactions differently. Uh, and so for a database, which we have an online transactional processing system, an OLTP, uh, the, uh, the transactions are going to be short. So look at the bottom here. We say short transactions. So that means small and simple queries with an emphasis on writes. Okay. So why would we want short transactions? Well, for OLTP, well, a database was built to store current transactions and enables fast access to specific transactions for ongoing business processes. So they're just talking about, I have a web app and we need to be very responsive for the, the current user for reads and writes. Okay, and so that could be adding an item to your shopping list, that could be sign up, that could be doing any sorts of thing in a web application. And generally, these are backed by a single source. So a single source would be Postgres, uh, could be running on RDS. Uh, and so that's the idea behind a database. So if we go over to the data warehouse side, it runs on an on online analytical processing system on OLAP. And OLAPs are all about long transactions. So long and complex SQL queries with an emphasis on reads. Uh, so a data warehouse is built to store large quantities of historical data uh, and enable fast and complex complex queries across all data. So the, the utility here is business intelligence tools, generating reports. And a data warehouse isn't a single source. It is It takes data from multiple sources. So DynamoDB, EMR, S3, Postgres, all over the place. Data is coming into one place so that we can run uh, uh, complex queries and not too frequently.